we're going to hear now from a couple of attendees of the Trump rally in Pennsylvania uh, that led to, of course, the attempt uh, on his life. Here's the BBC catching up with a rally goer. This is an amazing interview was uh someone who was here you weren't inside the event nope but you were just outside tell us what you yes. saw and what so so we had a party here all day at the uh, you can see behind us at the, at the brinkles farming greenhouse here we had a party um and we all decided hey you know when, when we hear trump up there we're going to walk up through the field stand by the trees up there under the shade yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally right we couldn't see him but we could hear him so we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at them. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. He, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for you know, two, three minutes, Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. Okay, so why does this guy, why does this deplorable, this, this, this uneducated deplorable, why does he know that Trump should be pulled off of the stage and the Secret Service doesn't know? Who is he? Who is he? Look at him. He votes for Trump. He can't be that smart, right, Libs? But he's and smart he's, enough to know and, that. And, he, and he's got the he's got the Trump hair hat. He's got the so Trump I never hair saw hat. Until, until I went to the Bronx rally, I'd never seen these. Yeah, he's got the Trump hair hat. How does this guy know better than the Secret Service? But he doesn't look at the amount of time that passes. The guy's crawling around the roof with a rifle. A guy up on a roof is suspicious, no matter what the context. He's got he's armed, and Anyone he's on telling them, of course, right. Of course. So you're you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? Hundred percent, hundred percent. And he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three and to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police in the secret service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the secret service, who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see binoculars? Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, uh, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh, yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service just, blew his head off. Okay, we just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching. But you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead. And that was it. It was over. It's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You can see the white roof right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I no, other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, 100%. Do you, do, I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Or? Oh, I absolutely know about guns, for sure. No, I mean, it was? It, was a, it was a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, no, but sure. But a high velocity weapon. It was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, right. absolutely. So what, what do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with anything that can secret service considered a, a a problem i wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now but i don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and secret service is crawling up the roof Are you outside the security yes right there by that tree yeah. we were outside the security perimeter but my question is there's only a few buildings around here 
Why is Secret Service not on every building here? Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. I mean, that is just an incredible interview. It's incredible. And you could tell that the interviewer is pretty shocked by what he's hearing because what the guy is saying obviously just makes undeniable sense. Um, you know, it, it, he's saying he saw them. He's saying he saw a guy up on the roof waving a rifle around. And it came out, the AP reported, you know, I don't have this uh, on the screen, but I, I had it and I, I texted it to Jimmy earlier. Um, the AP reported that an officer actually climbed the ladder in the moments before the uh, shots rang right, up right. and saw the guy on the roof. The guy pointed the gun at the officer. The officer went back down the ladder, which apparently is how he got up there. There's a ladder up to the roof, which means right there you know that they did not properly secure the area because there's no way the Secret Service would just see a ladder leading up to the roof right. of a building of where there's a clear eye line to the president, the former president, and now the current nominee, and think, ah, whatever, we'll leave that where it is. At the very least, you would have someone standing near that ladder to make sure uh -huh. No one got up, assuming yeah. it was not a movable thing. You know, some of these buildings have these ladders that go up. Like, there's no there's no good explanation for that. And there's one more thing yeah. I want to show I mean, before it's, we... It's, they made it, you know, I'm joking and I'm not. They made it so ridiculously obvious that it, there, there's just no way you can come away from this saying, no, nah, nothing to see here. Right, right. Now, we don't know what the story actually is. That's why there needs to be an investigation, right? But when you look at that, you can't help but say there's going to be questions. And that's what the BBC guy says to the guy. The questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole bunch of questions. There. Yeah. A whole bunch of questions. All right. Now, here's another interview with another person at the rally. Just take me back. Um, what were you doing before the shooting happened? And then what did you see in here? Um, I was just hanging, standing there like everybody else, waiting for Trump. And we, as Trump started, we, I noticed two officers that were looking for something or somebody. I was, so I was looking around myself and seeing a guy on top of one of the buildings go in between one building to the next and went and told the officer that he was up there. And when I went back to my spot, I heard that People could s still see the, sh the person from where they were standing. So I checked that out and I went and went back to tell the officer that if he came over there, he could see them. And when I turned my back is when the shots, when the shots started. And then it was, it took me a second or two to figure out exactly what it was. And then it was just getting out of there and helping, helping some, some other person out with her child and we got out and that was that was the end of that and i went and left and that was all so those are the two you know interviews that are getting the most play in terms of the media catching up to people after the event and asking them what happens did you notice anything before the shots rang out um but as we saw earlier you know, there's video obtained by TMZ of people with their eyes on the shooter before he opened fire. These are the people who talk to the press afterwards, but it's pretty obvious. And as you could see in that TMZ footage, it wasn't just the guy with the camera or whoever shot that footage um, noticing the guy. You can hear people all around saying there's someone up there. There's someone up there. So a lot of people at this event saw something was up before it turned violent obviously um right. and so that begs the question what took secret service so long to act why was nothing done until after a shot was fired right i uh, yeah like i said this is so transparently obvious that any way you slice it this is just not innocent they have procedures they have things that they're supposed to do. And clearly those things were not done. And when you've got something that came up on uh, on Jimmy's show, 
is, uh, and I didn't know this, so when they did the whole post-9-11 folding all of the different agencies under the rubric of the Department of Homeland Security, they took the Secret Service out of the Treasury Department and put it under that banner. So they're under the same banner with other three-letter agencies that are out to get Trump. Has that compromised the integrity of the Secret Service? When you look at this, you have to ask, because they clearly did not do, it's not like they just started doing this. Secret Service has been protecting presidents for a very long time. They have ways of doing it. I can't imagine it's not right there in the handbook that if there is a roof with a line of sight to the stage, you have to get somebody up there. Or you have to, at the very least, have a spotter watching those rooftops, like nothing. And then the footage we were also looking at on Jimmy's, and we looked at a little bit here, that they waited to take the shot. Since when do Secret Service agents wait to take the shot on a rifleman on a roof overlooking a, a candidate they're supposed to be protecting? So you look at all this. And then when you look at all the strangeness around this kid, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to take it as a series of accidents. Please clap.